All right, it is great to be back with you and just in time because this video is going to change everything. All right, it is great to be back. It has been a while since we've posted anything. Uh, hopefully we can get back on track uh, with putting up a little bit more content. We'll see about that. Uh, be that as it may, one of my favorite phrases, as you know, uh, we would just kind of like to uh, address something. I see a bit of a trend, uh, I guess. Uh, you know me, I'm usually a day late and a dollar short, so it's not like I'm exactly on the cutting edge here, but I have been noticing this trend, and it, it's, it's kind of on my nerves. I hope this isn't a rant, but... Uh, you know, everything that happens now, every product that's released, whether it's music related, guitar related, uh, any industry, it seems like anything that comes out now, it's a game changer. It's going to change the game. Exactly how it's going to change the game, I'm not really sure, but everything's going to change the game. I mean, the word is so overused. It's, it's definitely hyperbole, which is just exaggerated. It's not to be taken seriously as a definition of the word. In case you don't know, I'm sure that you do. I don't mean to insult anyone's intelligence. However, uh, it's just so overused. Everything, this new movie with The Rock, you know, Black Adam, this movie's a game changer. You know, books on Amazon, it's like the game changer. How to produce more revenue. Everything is a game changer. I looked up uh, some videos here on YouTube just to see. And, you know, you have some companies now that are called the game changer. Guitars that are called the game changer. Let me read some of these. It's like Ernie Ball Strings, the game changer. Neural DSP, obviously the game changer for guitar modeling. This lesson on rhythm, this lesson on picking, this lesson on lead playing is a game changer. The Lava Smart Guitar, it's a game changer. There's a surprise. This is the most insane high gain guitar plug-in. It is a game changer. A $299 Ibanez, could this be a budget game changer? I'm sure that it is. The Trinity Guitar by Relish, a game changer. Vidami is a game changer for blues guitar. These closed position patterns will be a game changer for you. Every amp, every pedal, Every effect, every modeler, everything, every exercise, every lesson, the thing that you've been doing wrong and someone's going to teach you how to do it right, it will be a game changer. Not to be confused with the deal breaker, not to be confused with a haymaker, not to be confused with a salt or pepper shaker. It is a game changer. It's overused. It's overstated. There's been like some, I feel, and now we get into the subjective part of this, I guess. I guess it's all subjective. Not everything that's coming out now is changing the way we approach guitar. Not everything that's coming out now is going to change the way you write songs. or Not everything that's coming out is, is going to redefine you as a player or as an artist or as an engineer. I'm sorry. I hope that that's not a big disappointment. And I don't mean to be busting up anybody's marketing campaign. Let me correct that. I don't mean to be busting up everybody's marketing campaign. It's just overstated and it's ridiculous and it's on my last nerve. The phrase game changer is overused as much as the word facilitate is in a corporate atmosphere. The phrase game changer is overused as much as the word solution was 20 years ago in the IT industry. It's just overused. And here's the thing. Let's look at it this way. Exactly what game is it going to change? When you're talking about a game changer, you're talking about something that has a profound impact on approach producing results. For instance, the three-point shot in college basketball, that was a game changer. So now if you're down by 20 points, you can make up that point spread a lot quicker because it's not just two points at a time. It can be three points at a time. That definitely was a game changer. The wheel, I would say that was a bit of a game changer. Electricity, probably a game changer. So I think you can see that a game changer is something that just redefines process and result. So what I would like to do is maybe just look at a couple of things that have been indeed game changers for uh, guitarists in particular, as far as equipment and players. Let's start off with players for rock. I think we have to start with Jimi Hendrix. Jimi Hendrix was indeed 
a game changer. I probably need to do a video. It's like Jimi Hendrix, the game changer, the one who changed the game. Boy, I'm getting so sick of the phrase already. I can't hardly stand it. I'm using it too much now. Anyway, he was because that, that tone, that approach, that showmanship, uh, I think it was fresh. It was new. And we can see how everybody's basically kind of copied that. So I think we can see as a result of Hendrix's presence how much of an impact that he has had. And so many people have emulated that. And some people obviously taking a lot of people taking it a lot farther than he ever did. I think the next game changer for rock guitar, obviously, is Eddie Van Halen. Uh, just redefined tone, technique. Um, you know, when that guy was, when Eddie first came out, you would listen and you were just kind of scratching your head on what is he doing? Oh, he's rubbing his palm on a uh, on the strings with the face shifter on and people were kind of scratching their head or all of these uh, natural harmonics that he was doing or the finger tapping, whatever it was. It truly redefined the approach and result of lead guitar playing. And then I would also say that probably another big game changer for electric guitar as far as lead is concerned would be Ingve Malmsteen, love him or hate him, the guy had a huge impact on guitar. Now let's just take a couple of minutes and maybe look at a few game changers as far as products uh, for guitar uh, historically and up, even up into the present. Uh, because now everything that comes out, every modeler, you know, it's a game changer. Well, I'm not so sure about that. I think one thing that probably changed the game would probably be uh, a Marshall lamp, a uh, half stack or a stack with a tube head, and probably the results that you can get out of that, the results that you get out of that are pretty astounding and pretty amazing, and I think that probably has had a pretty big impact. I would say the Fender Strat has probably been a game changer for electric guitar. I think hardly anybody would disagree with that, uh, just as far as the feel, the look, and the sound uh, is pretty well unrivaled. <laughs> I would say another game changer would be the Les Paul from uh, Gibson. Obviously a huge impact on uh, rock guitar and uh, some of the biggest names that have ever played use the Les Paul and I think it probably produced some different results in the process. Where'd this thing come from? Curious. I think another huge game changer uh, would be uh, the Rockman by, I guess, that Tom Schultz from uh, Boston. It's kind of an early stage of modeling where you can bypass having to drag a big amp to your gig. And you can kind of use something and just plug your guitar into it and then plug it into the PA and voila, there you go. And there you get that Boston sound. There you get that Def Leppard. There you get that 80s rock, top 40, heavy metal, clean type of a tone, slightly overdriven tone. Definitely a game changer. And that was kind of a, a preamble, I think, to what was to follow. And so for me and my money, uh, for lack of a better phrase, I think something that really rewrote our approach to amplification, I would have to say it would be some early products from Line 6. I don't necessarily think that Line 6 is the greatest at modeling necessarily anymore, but I think early on, I think they were pretty well the flagship, were they not? You look at a product like uh, a Line 6 uh, Axis 212, I actually had one of those, and at first it was just one of the most mind-blowing things that you could ever imagine. You could have this all-in-one combo, I believe it was 212s, it was 100 watts, multi-effects, channel switching, it was just absolutely amazing. And you could pretty well dial in just about everything that you wanted. And then I think Line 6 took it a step farther. And I think kind of building on maybe the Rockman, but I think even more versatile, obviously, would be one of these. This, folks, was a game changer. This changed the game as far as our approach to recording, playing, uh, the versatility, the compact size and nature of the unit. Uh, it's just absolutely astounding. And I know some people would probably disagree, but I think that uh, I think it still kind of holds up today. I think maybe the clean sounds were kind of a little bit sketchy from the get-go, but as far as some of the high gain tones that you get with this and even some of the medium gain tones, I think it still stands up and still sounds really good. Now, you know, you could put this up uh, against a Helix. Or you could put this up against a Neural DSP or a, a Head Rush or whatever it might be. And it's like, you know, well, these modeling 
units are changing the game. Are they? How are they changing the game? Exactly what game is being changed? I want to know. Please comment and let me know. Enlighten me on how the game is being changed. What game is being changed? Is the game of how you record being changed? No. Now you can go direct to your console with a modeler just like you could with a pod. You can do the same thing with a helix. You can do the same thing with a head rush. You can do the same thing with a boss or whatever unit it might be. It's not changing the game and you'll hear things like, well, if you turn the volume down on your guitar that it really responds to the dynamics of your plane and blah, blah, blah. Isn't that the same line of salesmanship that they said when this came out? Wasn't that the same line of salesmanship that we heard when the Line 6 Axis 212 came out? It was like, oh, it responds to the dynamics of your plane. And if you turn down, then the distortion does just like a real amp. It seems like every modeling device has been that way. Nothing's really changed. So what? Now they start adding impulse responses or something like that. So what does that mean? That means that you're just giving you a few more options as far as a cabinet simulator is all that is. This had cabinet sim simulation. Head Rush has cabinet simulations. It's all the same. It's just, it's just maybe a little bit better, but it doesn't change the game. And I'll tell you one thing it's not going to do. It's not going to make you a better player, and it's not going to make you a better songwriter, and it's not going to make your ear any better. It's not going to improve your technique. It's n what game is it changing exactly? Is it making it sound more authentic? Really? I guarantee you that if I recorded some audio samples within the context of a song using the Pod 2.0 versus like a Head Rush or even a Helix or a HD500X and you had to choose or guess which one was which, you wouldn't get it right every time because it still stands up. It hasn't changed the game as much as everybody says that it has. Remember these little lunchbox amps? Changed the game. No, they didn't. It's just the same thing. It's just packaged differently. And actually, there's some limitations that this thing has that maybe the pod didn't have. So certainly not changing any game. Oh, wait a minute. They do have a new model out. I should probably get one because it's going to change the game. I think another item that maybe was a game changer, I would have to say, would probably be uh, the Alesis ADAT. And I know that's kind of crazy, but you know you're talking SVHS, but it was CD quality. It was 44K, 16-bit, 8-track uh, modular recording. Uh, absolutely redefined home recording and put uh, being able to record something that was CD quality at the time in the hands of pretty much the average musician for the most part. I would think that the Mackie 8 bus changed the game for a lot of people as far as putting uh, routing uh, in a mixing console into the hands of most musicians who couldn't afford to go to a studio and pay you know, 75, 100, 150 bucks, 200 bucks an hour. So it's products like those that change the game. It changed the game as far as your songwriting, your ability to capture ideas. And I think modeling has changed the game where you don't have to carry a big nasty amp around and or a pedal board. And it's pretty well an all-inclusive unit that just sounds fantastic. Now, feel free in the comments to tell me that I'm completely wrong. I usually am. I'm just, you know, I just don't get enough sleep and I'm getting old and I'm getting stupid and sloppy. And I'm a grandfather, so it's pathetic. But if you do agree, and if you want to comment on that, that'd be great. And if you can think of some more game changers, and I'm not talking about, you know, Helix 2.0 versus Helix 1.0, it has become an even bigger game changer. How is that? Because there's a software interface that you can use to adjust the parameters. Didn't the Pod 2.0 have that? Wasn't that called like Sound Diver or something like that? Was it as versatile? No. But that was here 20 years ago. Anyway, enough of the rant. Uh, this video, as I'm sure you can tell, has definitely been a game changer. It'll probably change how many views I get. It'll probably change how many subscribers I have. In other words, I probably won't get very many views and I'll probably lose subscribers. Anyway, sorry that I haven't put up a lot of content lately. I hope that you get something out of this video. Let's just play a couple of minutes as we get out of here. Thanks. Have a great night. Thanks for watching.